Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to customize the shader editor like this. So, go up to your edit preferences and select themes. Once you're there, scroll down till you find your node editor, just like this. And then here are your options. Now, the two main ones that I use are this uh, fill node for the inside of your node. You wanna know what that is, and that's the node backdrop right here. And I like to work high contrast, so making these black helps me see the text a lot more clearly and see things quicker. So that's what I like to do. So I'll change that to black. And then you can also change colors for almost everything else, like node selected, if you want that to appear, say red, and that will show the nodes that are selected that aren't the active one. And then active node, which is this hue saturation you can see right here, it has the white around it right now. I can change that to whatever color I want as well. You can also change the colors of each type. So if you want color nodes to be different color, you can mess with that. And you can do that for all the different types of nodes, even converter nodes and everything. Something else that you need to pay attention to, the second most important one, is this noodle curving. So as you can see, if I were to select this, you can see there's a nice curve, a bezier curve going on here. But if I were to lower this, say to a one, there is a straight line now being formed. Actually, a zero would be a straight line being formed, but a one is pretty close. And also you can up this to like a six and there's tons of curving happening. I personally like working with lower, so I'll switch to a one or a zero most of the time. And then you have grid levels. And if I zoom out, you can see this better. But as you can see, there are these tiny dots in the background. You may not be able to see well in the recording, so I'm gonna change the color of them real quick to a white so you can see them better. So currently I am at one grid level. You can change it to two and it creates more dots. You can go from one to three on this. But yeah, the more dots there are, the more sort of cluttered it gets to me. Now I like to keep this at a two because I like there to be some stuff showing up there. And I'll change the grid back to a gray color and you can change it to whatever color you want, obviously. But I like to do a light gray that's a little bit off the original of the background. And obviously you can change the background as well, but you can find that on your own. I just wanted to show you the basics of how to customize your node editor. You can play around with it how you like. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped you. I'll see you in another one. Adios.